Greetings. My name is Derek Posnikoff, and I am a lecturer in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. It is my distinct privilege to have been invited to contribute to this celebration by speaking to you today about my involvement with the development and deployment of Math 101, the University of Saskatchewan's new quantitative reasoning course. In fall 2020, the College of Arts and Science introduced three new requirements to every degree program it offers. An English language writing requirement, an Indigenous learning requirement, and a quantitative reasoning requirement. These exciting curricular changes have been over a decade in the making and help ensure our graduates are people who can form and clearly express informed, thoughtful, well-reasoned positions on critical issues that have a bearing on us all, both individually and collectively. In my opinion, through this curriculum renewal, we have taken a significant step towards being what the world desperately needs. The quantitative reasoning requirement arose from a pervasive sense that too many of our students lacked the fundamental quantitative skills necessary for success at the university and in the world at large, and that this skills gap needed to be addressed. Being able to reason effectively about quantitative data is an increasingly important skill in the information age and 21st century Canadian society. To paraphrase mathematician Jordan Ellenberg, the power of mathematical thinking is that it rigorously extends and enhances our common sense to help us not be wrong. The college's new curricular requirements help free our students from avoidable error and malicious manipulation. Communication and quantitative reasoning skills have formed the core of an advanced education since ancient times when the trivium and quadrivium were the standard curriculum. By ensuring that our students receive training in contemporary versions of these liberating arts, we help them become reasonable, autonomous citizens and empower them to rise to their potential. Many students in our college satisfy the new quantitative reasoning requirement automatically because their program of study already included a math or statistics course as a requirement before the curriculum change. However, around 700 students per year enroll in programs that did not formerly require such a course. Some of these students will have no problem succeeding in traditional calculus, linear algebra, or probability theory course. However, and I know this comes as a shock to you, many students dislike mathematics and have serious issues that would prevent them from thriving in the existing courses that satisfy the quantitative reasoning requirement. What do these students typically look like? They are enrolled in a degree program for which the requirement to take a quantitative reasoning course is new as of fall 2020. While they have successfully met the admission requirements of the college by completing a grade 12 math course, weaknesses in their fundamental math skills, whatever the cause, make success in the existing courses that satisfy the quantitative reasoning requirement unlikely without extreme effort and dedication. They have feelings about mathematics ranging from ambivalence to extreme negativity. For many of these students, their default reaction to mathematics is anxiety. They do not see the value of additional mathematical study in their own lives. Staying true to our commitment to put students first, it was obvious that a new course was required to meet the needs of this cohort and provide the students in it with an achievable path to degree completion. Two and a half years ago, I was approached by the Quantitative Reasoning Working Group and invited to join the team tasked with developing a new quantitative reasoning course. Our efforts resulted in Math 101, a non-traditional mathematics course with several noteworthy features. Math 101 is based upon the Quantway College system, developed by Carnegie Math Pathways specifically to help students in cohorts like ours complete their degrees. We are the first Canadian institution to join the CMP network. Math 101 requires students to interact with their peers to gain an appreciation for different approaches to reasoning quantitatively and experience with respectfully and constructively collaborating with other people to reach a shared understanding. Active collaboration activities replace traditional passive lectures as the core of the course. Math 101 helps students develop practical strategies for understanding complicated and pertinent real-world issues using basic mathematical concepts and skills introduced in the high school curriculum. Topics considered range from financial matters to social programs to interpreting medical results to ecological concerns. Because every question in the course is rooted in a pressing contemporary issue, the motivation behind the mathematics is never in question. The workload in Math 101 is robust and demanding. Students must complete and submit seven assignments every week. However, the level of abstraction is not as high as in other mathematics courses, and the work is expertly sequenced and scaffolded, making success achievable for all students dedicated to putting in the required effort. 
Math 101 goes to lengths to reduce the impact of student anxiety on their performance, from integrating information about growth mindset and cognitive reframing into the lessons, to encouraging deliberate self-reflection, to insistence on having only low-stakes assessments in the course. Math 101 explicitly aims to help students form a positive personal relationship with mathematics, encouraging students to find their own unique mathematical voice. I was selected as the instructor for the initial offerings of Math 101 based partly on my interdisciplinary background in mathematics and philosophy. A small pilot section of Math 101 ran successfully in winter 2020, and the full, full, first full-fledged offering occurred on schedule in fall 2020. Enrollments lower than the projected maximums have afforded an opportunity to gain some useful experience with implementing the course before needing to run it at full scale. Despite the additional challenges imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic and remote delivery, the first offering of Math 101 was a success. Every student resilient and dedicated enough to stick out the course to the end passed. Perhaps more significantly, student feedback about Math 101 was overwhelmingly positive and spoke to the success of the course design in meeting the varied needs of its target audience. I am proud of what we have accomplished in Math 101 so far, and I look forward to helping this course grow to reach its full potential in the years ahead. Thank you to Dean Bonham-Smith for inviting me to contribute this story to the celebration. Special thanks to my theme, team of assistant instructors, to my fellow development team members, and to Vice Dean Debrze and the many members of the Math 101 Steering Committee. Math 101 could not be a success without all of your efforts. Thank you for watching, and congratulations to everyone from the College of Arts and Science on surviving and thriving through this challenging second year of our college plan.